We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Now, we're going to take a little diversion. Uh, those were all the questions that came from last week. We're going to be getting on to the questions from this week, but we have a couple of guests. These guests aren't just living in a vacuum. They're not just here to hear me ramble on like I always do every week. They've like got it. ideas, things they want to talk about themselves. James uh, is a new face here. We're going to let him go first. James, why yes. don't you let the AV Rant listeners know a little bit about yourself and uh, some of the things that you'd like to talk about on the podcast for today? Sure. Um... I've been in the audio industry since 1977. Uh, I started right off. I started off as a, a DJ, and uh, I still DJ actually once in a while, just for special occasions with <laughs> cool. special people. Yeah, uh, and then I got into electronics engineering and technologies in the 1990s. But uh, I start as an actual college uh, degree, but I uh, started installing uh, theaters when. Um, <laughs> Uh, Dolby Stereo, you know, and and then we went to uh, Dolby Surround and ProLogic. So I've gone through all those, um, and I've gone through the what I call the terrible 2005s and 2003s and twos when nothing worked together and you had to figure it out, <laughs> and, uh, and your customers are going like, "Well, you said this was going to be wonderful," and I says, "Well, it is wonderful, probably in ten years." So uh, <laughs> so uh, close, so close, right? Uh, so I've been installing custom audio video uh, since 1999 uh, for actual customers. Um, uh, I usually work with architects and uh, designers, uh, interior designers, this, and we do a lot of distributed audio. Uh, I use everything from uh, the Nuvo uh, products um, to just simple 70-volt uh, systems uh, for um, larger systems that need more dispersed sound. Um, and uh, custom home theaters. We've done everything from a small ten thousand dollars system all the way up to one hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars. Wow! Uh, yeah, it, it's it depends on what people want and if they have the money to pay for it. Uh, <laughs> I had uh, I had eight crew members uh, up until two thousand eight, and we all know what happened after that. Um, yeah. The economy went somewhere, and <laughs> so somewhere. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm a luxury item, so a lot of what I do, I got put on hold or canceled. Um, mm -hmm. Closed the store, uh, went to a one man shop. Uh, now I've got a couple guys working for me again. We're starting to do theaters. We did a couple theaters this month, and we did a, a few new homes with just distributed audio. And we hang like I don't know twenty TVs a week. <laughs> really. So Oh, You've yeah. been eager to get on the podcast for a while, and that's because, yes. uh, you know, aside from um, working with your custom install and that, uh, you actually sort of created some of your own products and that. But, you know, whatever it is that you'd like to talk about on this podcast, we're, we're eager to hear it. Uh, the biggest thing I'd like to talk about is just uh, safety, electrical safety, knowing mm. if you, you know what you're doing, making sure that uh, your family and you are safe. You know, don't if, you don't, if you're worried about that light you put in, then it's far better if you hire a professional electrician. Or um, in Minnesota, where I'm from, we're called power limited te uh, technicians, and we we deal with everything that's low voltage and electricians. So we're actually licensed as a master electrician, just like a high powered electrician does. But uh, we only work within the low voltage. Mm -hmm. And I have a level four, which means I can work in nuclear places and, <laughs> and uh, gas <laughs> gas stations and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the biggest thing for a lot of the customers I see is that, um, and Lee, you, you always say, you always say, it, you know, if you can wait, get the money saved up and have that, uh, you know, get the right product because you're going to like it for a long time. Yeah, yeah, it depends. I mean, I wouldn't want somebody to wait forever, right? No, I mean, no, but. Because some people but, are like, well, what if 8K TVs come out? No, 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 just, <laughs> yeah, you're okay. But, it, the reason why I like listening to AV Rant is because, um, Rob and Tom are very, and you too, Lee, are very, are very down to earth. There's no yeah. snake oil. Um, no. It just drives me nuts uh, with the snake <laughs> yes. oil stuff. I just want to just, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an angry driver. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> By the way, uh, people who aren't viewing this can't see that he looked around 
Because my wife will go, like, I, mm-hmm. I'm an angry driver. <laughs> I have a lot of road rage. And, and, and if you took that and you times it by 100, then that would be the snake oil rage. Oh, I'm I with have. you. Oh, you I'm with you. So oh, yes. uh, it's all math. Um, it's just the same with that, that you know, 15 dB drop. If you take a look at what you're doing and, and understand the math and why you have your placement of your sofa is in the right place, um, you know, you, you don't want to run a 22 gauge wire 300 feet because that just <laughs> sure. doesn't make sense uh, mathematically. You know, um, you, you can sometimes hear the difference in speakers, um, but it has a lot to do with who built them, how they're built and the products that were used in it. So you can't compare a $20 speaker with a $2,000 speaker. Right. But at the same time, when you're, you're setting up a system, this is my last thing I'm going to say. As a professional installer, take understand all the frequencies that you're using and, and make sure that they are not overpowering everything above or below them. Because if it's not balanced and equal throughout, you're going to miss a lot of dialogue. You're going to miss mm-hmm. a lot of highs. Your lows aren't going to be right. So take time. And, and that's what I found with a lot of your, your viewers is they they really want to take time. Yes. They, they want to hear everything. And if they're listening to a two-hour podcast every week, they want to take time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, it's exactly. fun, though. Sometimes taking the time is half the fun. <laughs> and, and I've tweaked systems to disaster. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know, and you go, oh, where did I start? And so I always make sure if I something I kind of like, I mark those settings down in my on my iPad or wherever I'm working on, and then I work through. I'm not as knowledgeable technically as Rob is as far <laughs> as a lot of the details. Um, I'm more of an artist that kind of I splash the screen until I get what I want overall, and that's what the customer wants. <laughs> sure. Well, um, speaking nice. of who makes speakers, you're someone who makes speakers. I want to get them yeah. mentioned at least. Yeah. Yeah. Right, my I, I developed a small company called Rainy Lake Audio. We we build open baffle speakers. Um, they they we sell them as kits. Um, they come in different kinds of woods and or metals, depending on what you want them to look like. Uh, it's two 15 inches uh, with a uh, eight inch uh, full range speaker. Uh, they're all paper cones um, and uh, they need to be away from the wall to voice them well. They come with either a mini DSP, which Rob turned me on to, um, <laughs> with a, a power amplifiers, or I, I also build my own crossovers that'll work with them. Um, I really like them. Uh, my wife doesn't. They're too big, she says. So <laughs> right now they're in my listening room, uh, and I, I use them to listen, and I've sold a few pairs online. Uh, most of it's been word of mouth, and I get people come to my door and say, hey, can you build me a pair? Yeah. So I've done everything in maple, ash, um, African rosewood, um, mahogany, and um, birch. And uh, I also did a set in, uh, um, just for fun, for this guy, he wanted it, um, butcher block. Okay. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. Was he a cook? And a he chef? Was, uh, no, he wanted it to look to match his cabin. So uh, oh. and they had, they had like this um, really nice blended floor so we built them out of butcher block and and finished them out that way and does he were... roll out pie doughs or anything on the <laughs> channel speaker because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> i would yeah. we cook well, they, a lot here <laughs> they let's just say they roll off very nicely <laughs> i would love a couple of yeah i'd love a couple of that's really clever by the way i'm sorry i'm talking i should just let that joke hang there for a second because it was good they roll off nicely. <laughs> I would love some butcher block small bookshelf speakers in the kitchen. That would be incredible. Well, it, yeah. So, and then we experiment. We I have a, a CNC uh, uh, machine that we we cut everything out on. So it's we can oh. make them in any shape or form you want. The other one, the other product we sell are, are um, which I started at AV Rent here because they just mentioned it. Are the printed. Um, sound uh, screens to go over your sound boards or baffles. Mm-hmm. I've, uh, we're still working on those. Um, I'm having a problem with the uh, vendor and getting the frequencies, certain frequencies to go through propagate correctly. Mm. So uh, through the baffle, um, I, the baffle sits two and a half inches away from the wall. So they're not hung on the wall. They're actually attached to the wall. So you get that base going through and coming back and getting caught. Uh, the so I'm working on on those. The frames and the and the cloth are, are kind of an iffy thing, but they are. The printing is fantastic. So we have a new printer for that. So that's all full color. You can get your whole family on it. Or, I can't do anything copyrighted. I keep on telling people I can't. <laughs> I 
can't do Superman and Batman. I can do super guy and bat girly. But, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> how about, those are just little ventures I do on the side. Most yeah. of my my most of my work is custom audio video install. Well, I for folks who want to check out those products, rainylakeaudio.com. You can uh, mm-hmm. check and them out there. Uh, Dynamic Technologies Solutions is my uh, my other company site, and we just uh, just to let you know, Rob, we're I'm wiring up a Tim Hortons. Okay, there yeah, you go. It's a good, we're ah. bringing some Canada to Minnesota. <laughs> so that's expanding. A, that's a well, coffee donut shop. So. Well, thank you, James, for, for joining us. Uh, and you're you're one of the installers that we like. You know, sometimes on this podcast, we rag on installers because I think you'll even agree. You're in the industry. There are the installers out there who are very much strictly profit-driven. And we yeah. don't always feel like they're giving their customers the highest value, uh, that it's sometimes more about padding that margin than it is about getting the absolute highest value. But you're one of the good guys. You care about your customers and not overcharging them for stuff that doesn't necessarily perform as well as something that costs half as much. Uh, so yeah, we, we like we like that type of attitude yeah. around I'm not here. brand specific. Um, we're, we, we do overall projects. So if you want bows in your house, <laughs> I'll actually put it in there for you. Might, <laughs> if you demand it. <laughs> I might say, um, okay. that's all i can do but yeah so we're very oriented to the customer once your question answered send it to question at avrant.com AV Rant. Now go out and listen to something.